around the 1st of December 2017, I wasn't feeling very good. I have asthma and my breathing became very poor. And I don't like to go to a doctor, but I finally did break down. And as you can see, these are steps on my step counter. And my, my ability to walk was going down dramatically. By the 5th of December, I decided that I needed to, you know, go see a doctor. And so I did. And he put me on a drug called Simbacort. And I was on that drug for quite some time, about 30 days. But I was able to start walking again, as you can see. I was able to start picking up the number of steps that I could take in a day. And at the same time, the doctor told me I needed to, to cut down on my, my food intake because I was weighing too much. I was at 296 pounds. So I decided I would go on a diet because it would be good for my sugar levels and also make it easier to walk. So I decided I would try and work my way up to walking 16,000 steps a day, which by the end of the month I had reached. And at the same time, I noticed that my weight was starting to drop. And I was only eating lunch and dinner. I was skipping breakfast. I skipped breakfast because I was trying to do my steps early in the morning because I read that if you do it that way, you burn off extra fat. So I started to notice my weight going down. And I thought, well, this is pretty good. So I kept up the steps. And I got to the point where I could do 16, 17, 18, 19,000 steps in a day without a problem. And today... By the, it's only noon right now, I've done already 11,200 steps, and I'm averaging about 16,000 steps a day. However, in that period of 50 days, my weight went from 296 pounds down to 262. Now, that is significant for me because I haven't been below 290 pounds in many, many years. So, as you can imagine, my feet are a little sore, so I use two kinds of shoes, which I'll describe later in this video. But you, too, can do this. It only required me to cut back on the number of calories that I was eating and to increase my steps per day. Now, I use my cell phone to keep track of the steps per day. It does a really good job for me. And I also have a little clicker counter, which I can use. And this clicker counter is pretty good for, for uh, keeping track of my steps and things like that. What I use the clicker for is I use it to keep track of about every 20 to 40 steps, depending on where I'm walking and what I'm trying to accomplish. I try and do about 2,000 steps per time when I'm doing steps. I started off doing a lot less, like 500 per time. But now I, could, I can easily do 5,000, but my feet will become a little sore. So I do it in increments of 2,000 steps, and it's worked very well. In my office, I use my sneakers to walk around in a circle. I know exactly how many steps there are. To walk around in one circle is 40 steps. Now here's how I do the cadence walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. When I want to go a little bit slower, I do the steps stepwise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. While I'm walking out in our fields, it can be quite wet, so I use these boots. And I use them while I'm walking out here inspecting our trees. And it's a good way to get to see your trees up front, close, and personal. And inspect for insect damage, weed control, and whether they need to be trimmed 
and, this, and things such as that. We grow thousands and thousands of trees here at the farm and there are thousands of rows to walk up and down. You couldn't walk all our rows in one day. So I pick out a row or two or three and walk up and down those rows and if there's any trash like bottles or cans or used spent shotgun shells, I pick them up. If you want to come to the farm and walk here as well, you can. We do keep the farm open for passive and active recreational activities for people. We do allow hunting. We have a hunter access program, a bird watching program, and now, of course, a walking program for people like me that need to walk and burn off excess energy and fat. Hunting is a great way to walk around on a farm. We've had three separate groups of hunters out in the farm today. A father and son are out there right now, and it's good to see that happen, carrying on traditions, bonding, and they get their exercise. That's how I like to see it done. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA. Give us a call if you need trees or shrubs. We will deliver and install, and we have thousands and thousands of trees and shrubs. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215-651-8329.